Cancer, what's up? It's your girl Tosh with Unstoppable. Go ahead and like, subscribe. Don't forget to comment. Share my channel as well. This message is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cross watches are welcome. If the reading doesn't resonate, go ahead and subscribe anyway, okay? Because it could be your story later on down the road, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it for you guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you're taking the time out to heal yourself. Some of you could be feeling really tired at this time and really need to get some rest because you're overworking yourself as well. Okay, be careful with accidents. Make sure you're paying attention to the road. There could be something in the road or a vehicle uh, in the middle of the road on their brakes. Okay, or someone jumping in front of you. So be careful with that. People are acting really crazy at this time. Okay. Also, for some of you, um, you may be thinking about uh, moving or traveling as well at this time i feel like there is a lover either you or this lover or maybe you guys are like mirroring each other thinking about each other okay and um for some of you it's kind of like i'm not going to make the first move you're going to have to that kind of thing so nobody's really budging here okay you may be having to deal with a baby mama, baby, uh, baby dad, okay? You may be having some kind of issue with that. Maybe you guys are trying to come to some kind of agreement here, okay? Okay, Ten of Cups, okay? So for some of you, there's a commitment that's coming in here. So happiness, stability, abundance. Uh, for some of you, could be dealing with some kind of uh, family situation as well, okay? But I see you definitely entering a peace uh, period of peace and contentment, okay? Uh, definitely um, coming into a union of support and stability with a like-minded individual, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, for some of you, you may be having children or you could already have a family, but you may be desiring to come together with a family, okay? But be careful, okay? Because some of you may be having to deal with some kind of situation here. You may be moving out of a family home. We have the Tower and the Five of Pentacles, okay? So for some of you, there's some kind of disruption going on around a family, all right. Maybe you had some kind of disagreement here, something that really made you upset and pissed you off and you definitely walked away. All right. Some of you could be leaving a job. All right. Or you may be thinking about uh, changing jobs as well, but uh, there could be some kind of issues with your health. OK, uh, but I feel like at the end of the day, you know what you what you desire the most is your peace. And uh, I feel like. You know, you definitely don't want to cause any more chaos, any more drama for some of you. This is a family dynamic. You may be getting into it with the family members of uh, your lover here, or this. there could be family members involved in the middle of this relationship, okay? <clears throat> what else is going on here? All right. King of Pentacles, okay? For some of you, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn definitely wants to come in and provide for you. Uh, this is someone that, uh, you know, they work really hard. They look uh, very well. They take care of themselves. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, you're all about self-care at this time and really just going within to heal yourself. Some of you are definitely thinking about money or trying to make more money or trying to think of an idea to bring more money in here. But there's someone that definitely wants to settle down with you. This person could be someone who works a lot as well. Uh, they do a lot uh, when it comes to social activity here. OK, someone that's very uh, successful and sophisticated. All right. With the six of wands, some of you could be uh, getting some kind of new opportunity as well. Some of you are going to be purchasing, purchasing a new home and you could be getting a new car as well. But at the end of the day, people are really going to be noticing your hard work is definitely going to be paying off. OK, uh, definitely going to be successful. Your money is going to be looking good. You could have had some kind of issues with money or you are having some kind of uh, financial difficulties, but you're going to be able to pull yourself out of this situation. OK, whatever it is that you're going to be losing, I feel like you're going to be able to gain it back at the end of the day. OK, we have the high priestess card. 
for some of you, you're going through a lot right now. You're just to yourself, not really telling people uh, your moves or what you're up to. OK, but there is somebody that's secretly wanting to come towards you. This person uh, wants to build with you. They might have not necessarily necessarily said anything to you yet, but they could be watching you. OK, and thinking about you. Uh, they see you as someone that they can really build with, that they can grow with, because right now it's like, you know, they're just thinking about it. They're up in their head on whether or not they should move towards you. OK. Uh, and for some of you, you really need to get some rest. You may feel like you're very stressed at this time, okay? Uh, I feel like you're just trying to go within and, you know, really not uh, play the field right now. For some of you, you may just want to be single, not really date too much at this time. Uh, I feel like you're just really up in your head thinking about making a move. For some of you, you want to make a move towards somebody and you're really thinking about this. Uh, this someone is, um, I feel like they're kind of mysterious to you at this time. They may not really be saying a whole lot, okay? Very to themselves. Um, you guys are very spiritual, okay? If that's something you believe in, I believe that you're someone who's very spiritual or very highly intuitive and this person is as well, okay? Um, and I feel like this person is thinking about you as well, okay? Five of Cups, yeah. They're thinking about the fact that they lost you and how it used to be, what it could have been, okay? Uh, the good times, the bad times that you all had, this person felt like they, you know, they really lost a good thing. Uh, someone that was... Uh, uh, very good to them. Okay. The, it, a, a relationship that had its own issues and problems, like any, any other relationship, it wasn't perfect, but at the end of the day, it was like, this person was your end all be all person to you. You know, it's like, you maybe feel like you could change for this person, or you could be with this person for the rest of your life. For some of you, you try to, uh, avoid, a disaster from happening, but it ended up happening in a, anyway, whether that was you or the person, okay? Um, for some of you, this person walked away from you, okay? Some of you are leaving a relationship, some kind of disappointment here. It could be regarding a family dynamic, okay? This could be, uh, you know, just leaving you up in your head, putting you at a crossroads, but there is some kind of message that's coming through here. With the Ten of Cups, Six of Wands, and eight of, uh, the Eight of Wands here, I feel like, you know, you're definitely going to be moving into a good period in life after this tower that happens, okay? You're definitely going to be dismantling and rebuilding your life for the better, okay? You're going to be coming into connection for some of you with a soulmate, could be a Gemini. This person sees you as someone that's very attractive, uh, they really admire you, they adore you, they feel like, you know, you're very beautiful, very handsome here, okay? And uh, for some of you, there's parents in the middle of this connection, okay, that's causing uh, some kind of upheaval, some kind of uh, disagreement that you could be having at this time, okay? Somebody is uh, three of swords. There is some kind of heartbreak here. This person could have put you in a third party in the past, okay? Uh, you know, I feel like at the end of the day, this person wants to come back and heal this connection, okay? Because they really do miss you. I feel like, you know, they're uh, they're up at night. For some of them, they're drinking, uh, overindulging in things here. The two of cups, yeah. Uh, they feel like they lost a soulmate. They feel like they lost someone that, uh, that they could really settle down with and be with here. They see you as a missed opportunity. With the Eight of Cups, I feel like you're definitely going to be walking away or you're walking away from disappointment. Some of you are definitely going to be traveling as well. When you travel, you're going to meet a soulmate, someone that's very attractive, okay? And this person could have had their own heartbreaks as well, okay? But be careful with uh, um, getting into arguments with people in a workplace okay there could be someone that's watching you in the workplace seven of wands okay there's some kind of criticism going on the emperor you could be dealing with the aries and the five of wands also we have the nine of wands okay so yeah you got somebody here that wants to try to come in and control this connection here this could be an, a past person here that you walked away from i feel like at the end of the day you're definitely going to be walking away from this drama here some of you there's some kind of fight going on some kind of physical battle okay it's like when you least expect it it's like boom you know all of a sudden just chaos just everywhere 
okay? <clears throat> yeah, uh, but, you know, there's someone that wants to come towards you. They're very defensive. Uh, I feel like they don't want to let you go. They see you walking away. They see you as someone, empress, empress, uh, very uh, stable, creative, beautiful, admirable, nurturing, caring, uh, you know, but the emperor is someone that's in control, but you're going to be, uh, you know, gaining control over your life. But there's people who's trying to demand you or trying to bully you and tell you what you need to do with your own life. And you don't have time for this. For some of you, this is a father or, or a mother. Just take it how it resonates. You got an emperor and a high priestess here. OK, uh, this is the father could be someone uh, that's trying to manipulate you, trying to tell you what to do, which way to go when it comes to your relationship here. This father could be someone that's married that settled down and you may not necessarily like you might not necessarily like the things that your father say or agree with everything that your father tells you to do. And you might have had some kind of disagreement with them. You walked away for some of you. Your parents are really getting on your nerves. OK, if this is a parent. Take it how it resonates. It could be an uncle, auntie, a cousin, a brother, okay, a sister, all right? Some kind of family dynamic that's falling apart, okay? Because you walked away, because you maybe chose a different path than what they, than what they asked you to do or what they required you to do, you know, whatever dreams that they have for you. It's like you're not living up to their dreams, to what they want you to do, okay? Just take it how it resonates. If this is not your story, Okay, uh, I'm picking up on somebody here. Okay. Tell me about this nine of wands. I want to know more about this nine of wands. Some of you are definitely going to be having some kind of physical altercation, like a big fight, big, big fight. Okay. All right. This is about money. OK, this is about money. This is about your money here. So you got people that's trying to come in and control your money, trying to tell you what to do. If they're not controlling your money, they're trying to control you because you got money, because you're abundant here. OK, but a new beginning, a new opportunity is coming towards you. And for some of you, this is going to require you to travel, require you to uh, remove yourself or uh, leave this family here. OK, and if that's what you got to do, then do what you got to do, because I feel like at the end of the day, this is a whole bunch of toxicity here. This is just going to leave you like this in the five of cups. OK, and the four of swords, wishing you had a made a move, wishing you had to listen to your own self. OK, and not other people, because at the end of the day, you grown, you make your own decisions. Because sometimes what people decisions are is for them and not for you, even though you may not pay attention okay yeah but you call in judgment and i feel like you see the truth but somebody here is doing spell work as well could be a high priestess could be a mother figure could be a female that's doing some kind of magic on money or you could be uh also trying to you know call more money in to you if you're into magic here okay i didn't want that to come up but it did anyway so sorry um yeah. Um, what else is going on with cancer? What else does cancer need to know? Okay. Some of you are having some kind of disagreement regarding an ending. Okay. So you, whatever this is, I feel like at the end of the day, you're going to be calling judgment. You're going to see the truth of what's going on in this situation. And you're going to be, yeah, paddling, paddling on the head here. Okay. Leaving people out in the cold. OK, transforming, coming into a new life. OK, so you're definitely going to be transitioning into a better version of you. OK, I feel like at the end of the day, you're just bored. You're bored with some of the things that's going on in your life and you just want adventure. OK, you want to have fun. You want to get out. It's like I'm still young. Let me do what I can while I can. OK, and so that's definitely what you're going to be going, what you're going to be doing. You're going to be cutting your losses, cutting your ties hear from people, places, and things and moving on because you, you found the harmony, you found the harmony to uh, move ahead here and you've uh, learned how to uh, pursue and progress when it comes to your relationships, when it comes to your health, uh, when it comes to your career. I feel like this is something you really want to, to, to just move forward here. You want everything to be lined up. Okay. 
but four. So your ancestors are definitely protecting you, watching over you, okay? You're going to be self-expressing yourself, okay? And uh, you're going to be uh, fulfilling your desires and your dreams, but you also could be dealing with the Scorpio as well, okay? So uh, releasing, releasing uh, things, is definitely what's going to be happening here. But this is a big boom. This is a big fight, like a really big fight, okay? And for some of you, this is regarding a relationship, okay? But you got somebody that's trying to hold you back when it comes to your finances, okay? But with the Ace of Pentacles, you're definitely going to be planting your roots, okay? So, yeah, investments coming in, your your uh. Some of you could be in the stock market as well, investing in the stock market, but you're going to be in, in very abundant. Uh, some of you are going to be in a new job, okay? You're going to be walking away from an old job, and, and like I say, you're going to be moving from one uh, uh, area of your life into another, just transitioning like that, okay? But I feel like, you know, you're able to manifest. You're very good at manifesting. OK, so keep doing that. Keep working on that. Even though it's not coming overnight, your answer, your prayers are definitely going to be answered and they're definitely being heard. OK, so just keep going. Keep keep uh, that momentum. OK, keep staying positive. And the death card shows up again. OK, Whew. OK, what is this death card about? Some of you are really walking away big time, big time walking away, okay? Going through a heavy transformation. Three of Pentacles. This is about business. This is about work. It could be family. It could be friends. A partnership. Some of you are walking away from a relationship, okay? This could be anything. I feel like it's, 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 it's whatever it is that's irritating you and bugging you, you're definitely going to be uh, putting out in the cold. But for some of you, this is definitely regarding work. You could be um, having some kind of issues with people at work here that's irritating you. You could be dealing with a lover in the workplace as well. Maybe there's some kind of gossip going on in the workplace with the page of swords. You got people watching you, okay, and gossiping about you in the workplace. Money, money. This is about your money, okay? Somebody doesn't want you to be abundant. They don't want you to be happy. They don't want you to have this inheritance. Some of you are getting some kind of inheritance. And you may be trying to hold on to your money and people trying to spend your money. You got somebody that's, uh, maybe this is someone who was codependent on this relationship here that you were giving to and giving to. And now you're not giving to this person no more. Like I said, self-care, you taking healing yourself, taking care of yourself. It's all about me. And if you have kids, you're going to take care of your kids too with the 10 of cups. Okay. For some of you, this is some kind of uh, relationship, uh, baby mama drama or something. Okay. Yeah. Justice. Okay. Some of you could be going to court as well, but this is definitely going to go in your favor. You could be dealing with a judge, a lawyer, uh, someone that's in a law field here, but be careful with signing contracts because for some of you, you're going to be getting some kind of money or some kind of inheritance is coming in, but there is some kind of illegal activity going on with the contract or some kind of paperwork. So be careful with that because this is going to cause chaos. This is going to cause a lot of confusion. It's going to cause uh, people getting into fights. Okay. People losing things. Cars, homes, jobs. Some of you, for some of you, could be uh, filing bankruptcy as well. Okay, I don't necessarily see it, but I'm hearing it and I'm feeling it. Okay, I am empathic, so I pick up whatever I say is because I'm picking it up sometimes uh, through emotion. Okay, what is this page of Pentacles? Some of you are gonna have some kind of news regarding a relationship. Or you're going to be, uh, some of you could be going back to school as well with the hierophant. You could be dealing with the Taurus, but you got somebody in that wants to come. Somebody here, Page of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Taurus that wants to offer you a new beginning here or a commitment, a new relationship. Some of you are going to be asked out for something. For some of you, there's somebody that wants to marry you, that wants to settle down with you and give back. 
They want to give to you. They want to uh, provide for you here. Okay. What is this queen of wands for? Some of you have some kind of issue or some kind of argument around this woman, this fire sign lady. Okay. The empress regarding the pregnancy or because, you know, you're uh, tapping into your creativity. This person is watching you. They see that you're, uh, you know, very creative and you're moving on in life and you have a new offer in love with the Knight of Cups. Somebody's moving towards you here. But this could be, like I say, a mother, father, um, in the middle of this connection of this empress that you want to move towards to. There's somebody here that's trying to stop this love. This person could be dealing with another woman, but this could be somebody's mother, auntie, sister, that doesn't want to see you grow and move ahead. They don't want to see you offering your cup of love to anybody else. Because like I say, you got the money. You got the money, honey, at the end of the day. All right? Yeah. But your heart is closed off. This is really going to hurt you and put you up in your head here. Okay? Whew. Loaded, Cancer. Loaded. And you too better give me my views on this one with the little 18 views that y'all be giving folks. Know that y'all ought to be shaming y'allself. People put a whole bunch of energy in these reads. Go ahead and subscribe for me, Cancer, okay? <laughs> Woo! Shed the old. All right. So you're definitely going to be transforming your life, okay? Shedding the old. Out with the old. In with the who? The new. You, right? The new you. So you definitely going to be shedding the past. And forgiving any perceived wrongs is necessary, Cancer. I know sometimes you like to hold on to stuff, but we have all been the giver and receiver of hurt, whether intentional or not. Now it's time to bury the hatchet, acknowledge the emotion, and let it go. Okay? Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Sorry. I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm going to do a few more messages, y'all. We're going to close this reading protection. Like I say, you're definitely going to be protected. Your ancestors are watching over you. But this is regarding a child as well, okay? So it's like the hummingbird is highly protective. There is a message coming in, so make sure you're paying attention to your mail. This could be about money. This could be about your taxes as well, okay? Tax time is here, all right? The hummingbird is highly protective of its territory. Now is the time for protection. We all long to feel safe in our homes, relationships, and work. Work on helping yourself and others to feel more secure and comfortable, okay? So, you know, like I say, make sure, you know, you're doing the uh, necessary work to heal yourself or to... But I feel like, you know, you are healing at this time. You could be, uh, you know, feeling like you're really not protected where you live or where you work. It's something significant about this here. Problem solving. OK, uh, deep down, you know how to solve any problem you are faced with. Like the Raven, keep at it. Don't give up. You've got this under control. You are more inventive than you might think. Try looking at things differently, okay? And you definitely have potential, all right? So keep going, keep striving, okay? Some of you could be going towards the mountain or you may be going to the beach around water, okay? Are you living up to your highest potential? This is the time to set out, step out of your comfort zone, Cancer. Take on that new endeavor. You would never know until you try Taking the first step can be scary, but don't let the fear of it hold you back, okay? Calmness, let things settle, okay? All right, but fours, again, so four is definitely your number, ancestors, okay, watching over you, self-expression, and fulfillment, okay, so you're definitely going to be fulfilled in life, all right, but you're going to be able to keep that tough skin, that, that thick skin, and not let anything get to you, uh, you know, going through the tides of life, uh, and, you know, just keep flowing, just keep going here, uh, definitely, you uh, spirituality is something that's significant as well some of you could be tapping into your spirituality here okay but getting around water um, may help you calm your mind a little bit okay put these 
open that way. Okay, more than what I needed, but I'm going to go ahead and read them. All right. Balance, okay? Being balanced, okay? So this is something that you definitely need at this time. Intensification, okay? So chasing after your dreams. Keep going, knowing that, you know, the more you go, there's definitely going to be obstacles, yes, but the more you keep going, you're definitely going to be, you know, having a light at the end of that tunnel. So your dreams are definitely going to be coming true, but you got to keep going. Don't give up. All right. Don't let anything hold you back. Don't let fear of failure hold you back. OK, but being able to balance yourself out is going to be is going to be more helpful to you when it comes to trying to go after your goals. Because if you feel like you're all in limbo here, you may be feeling like you're all in limbo. You may be losing things or forgetting things here, but you definitely going to have to balance yourself out to be able to carry those things out or carry it through. Okay. Protection shows up again. Some of you could work in a law field or you may work um, in a field where you have to protect people. Okay. <clears throat> but you know, you definitely protect it. You could be also, some of you may be, uh, maybe dancers. Okay. Or you may like music as well. You may have a tree, you may have an apple tree in the back, or you like apples. You may be trying to do something different when it comes to your eating habits as well. I do see you traveling. I also see someone watching you from your past. I believe it's from your past. This past person that we were talking about is definitely watching you and thinking about you. Uh, but fertility, okay? Some of you are going to be having a baby out there. You're going to be meeting your soulmate. And this is, I feel like this is going to happen when you travel for some of you here, okay? There's someone who's definitely passionate about you. And this person is really thinking about you, but you could be having a baby, okay? Birthing a new idea as well, all right? Okay. Thank you so much, Cancer, for coming in. That's all that I have for this week. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell up out of here, okay? Peace.